Hi, I'm Catherine. Today, I'm in the small English village of Nettlebed. I'm here to see the childhood home of Ian Fleming. Fleming was a very successful writer with an extraordinary life. If you haven't heard of him, you've almost certainly heard of his most famous creation, James Bond. Fleming wrote 14 James Bond books in his lifetime. These books were made into films and James Bond became a global phenomenon. But Ian wasn't the only writer in his family. In fact, for a lot of Ian's life, his older brother, Peter, was much more successful. Peter Fleming was a British adventurer and travel writer. He wrote a series of travel books about his adventures in Brazil and Asia. The books were very popular, and have sold well ever since. When they were young, Peter and Ian spent a lot of time here in Joyce Grove. Joyce Grove is a large manor house in Nettlebed. It belonged to Peter and Ian's grandparents. When they were young, the boys came here all the time. They loved exploring the house's large garden and woods. As boys, they were very similar. They were both adventurous and just as competitive as each other. Peter and Ian became close friends after their father's death, but there was always competition too. Both boys went to Eton, a very expensive school near London. Peter was more academic than Ian, but Ian was sportier, excelling at athletics. After school, Peter went to university and graduated with a first-class degree in English. Ian left school early. He became a journalist, and then he became a stockbroker. But he didn't do very well at either. As Ian failed to become a journalist or a banker, his brother became a famous travel writer. During the war, both Ian and Peter worked in intelligence. This experience had a big influence on both of them. And when the war ended, they both wrote books about the secret services. Peter was first. He was living here on the family estate when he wrote The Sixth Column, an espionage novel set in post-war Britain. He dedicated the book to Ian. Then he encouraged his publisher to print Ian's first James Bond book, Casino Royale. Peter influenced a lot of Ian's writing. He often edited Ian's work and even suggested character names like Miss Moneypenny. They were very close friends until Ian died in 1964. Peter himself died seven years later in 1971. He is buried here in the churchyard, less than half a mile from the house where he grew up with Ian. Mm -hmm. 